All right, anyway, we will do another flight, Kermi Cam, later. This thing's been sitting a long time. Had to put some oil in it. We're making sure the manifold uh, intakes on the bottom, uh, intake manifolds were drained and everything. And Jack's got a cool little tool that we'll explain in the, uh, the Kermi Cam in a couple of days when the weather gets better. Stay tuned and uh, be content watching this little flashback to uh, uh, what we did a couple of years ago when we test flew it. Yeah, here we are out at Fantasy of Flight. We've got a really nice morning. I've got the Stinson L1 behind me. Uh, I used to fly this airplane in Miami, I used to tow banners with it uh, at the original Weeks Air Museum. It was uh, damaged uh, significantly in Hurricane Andrew, and after we got up here to Fantasy of Flight in Central Florida, uh, Paul started working on it, one of my great aircraft specialists here, he started working on it. It's been a very long project, it's been about a decade and a half plus, and this morning it looks like we're going to go test flight. Yesterday we got the uh, FA to make all the final uh, sign-offs for the paperwork. Uh, it took a little while to get that sorted out. I'm excited to fly it again, and uh, let's go see how it goes.
Uh, the oil pressure started dropping a little bit. I just didn't want to talk to you. Uh, Okay, so we got a successful test flight in on the Stinson L1 behind me here. It had a uh, couple little issues, you know, nothing overly major, simple fixes. Uh, the main thing was on takeoff, all of a sudden I started losing RPM, quickly deduced that the propeller uh, control was actually, uh, the, the friction needs to be adjusted. This airplane doesn't actually have one, so we're going to have to go in and adjust it. So I found myself the rest of the flight. Uh, initially trying to adjust it with my hand and then eventually trying to lock it with my knee uh, trying to fly the airplane by keeping it forward because if I would let go of it it would immediately come back I'd lose the RPM. A um, couple of the gauges don't work, uh, slats seem to work fine, they came in on takeoff I watched them when I came in to land eventually and uh, they both seem to come out about the same time which is uh, good, that was a concern initially. I've got uh, a little bit of grease on the windshield as soon as I took off I could smell uh, some paint burning off the exhaust stacks, which we probably shouldn't have painted in the first place because it's just all going to burn off. But it looked nice uh, before we flew it. So uh, we got a few tweaks to go. Uh, the oil pressure started dropping a little bit as the oil temp went up. The more I flew, the oil temp uh, creeped up a little bit to where it should have been. It never got too hot, but, uh, but then uh, as the oil temp started to go up, the pressure began to drop a little bit. There's an adjustment we can make to uh, bump the oil pressure up on the engine on the oil pump. So uh, basically we're going to uh, tweak the oil pressure up a little bit and we're going to fix that throttle quadrant and we're going to go fly it again. All right, here we are after the uh, first flight of the uh, Stinson L1. Uh, this has been an airplane that has been probably the single most difficult airplane I've ever dealt with. Uh, it looks like a fairly straightforward, simple airplane, basically like a really large Piper L4, um, but it is so much more than that, and it is uh, an airplane that just drove me absolutely crazy. Uh, it took way too long to rebuild it. Uh, I believe the airplane has about 8,000 man hours, which is totally ridiculous for a liaison airplane. But uh, got it all finished up. Uh, we had a little delay with the paperwork with the FAA, but got that straightened out yesterday, and we did our first test flight today. And uh, I feel relieved more than excited. Uh, that's, I think, basically it's kind of like an anticlimactic thing with a lot of these airplanes. It's just the relief of it getting back down again, and everybody's safe, and the airplane is safe. And um, so we hope to work the squawks out of it. And at this point, it's actually the only Airworthy Stenson on one in the world, and there's only actually two others that are in rebuild at this time out of a total of seven survivors, so it's a really rare airplane. I'm very relieved to have this uh, off my plate, so now uh, I can finish maybe another airplane before I pass away, because basically this airplane <laughs> took me <laughs> so many years to do, so maybe I can finish another one before I retire, I don't know. Hopefully it is not another L1 in the future. <laughs>